Welcome back to The Color of STEM. The Color of STEM continues. The Color of STEM traveled to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to attend the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, the world's largest international pre-college science competition. More than 1,700 high school students from over 70 countries were in attendance. One of my friends suggested that I enter the science fair, and you know, I had no idea. Uh, I won first place in chemistry, and then I won the grand award, which sent me here completely free. You know, this is one of the first trips like away from home. So it's an amazing experience, but I definitely wasn't expecting it. I actually met a guy who found a treatment for cancer, and basically he used a common cold virus that can eliminate 98% of cancer cells. And I'm just awed by everyone here. It's an amazing experience. Well, my project is based on the BP Deepwater Horizon oil spill. And I live in southern Louisiana, in New Orleans. And even though the oil spill happened 75 miles away, I was still waking up every morning and smelling this disgusting crude oil. And, you know, I knew it was doing something to me. I just I didn't know what. And so I was interested in, you know, the reason as to why no EPA or bioremediation organization was too focused on identifying the toxins that are forming over time as photoproducts. Because what I was learning in chemistry was that photoproducts are a thing. So I wanted to develop a method that could identify them, since it hasn't been done before. So um, I used liquid compound separation and solar simulation, basically, you know, simulating my own oil spills over and over again, uh, using uh, oil from BP's Macondo well. And, you know, over time I was able to identify the toxins. I moved to New Orleans um, in eighth grade from Miami, and I wanted to be a lawyer. I, my favorite subject was English, you know, but on a whim, I signed up for a four-year engineering course, and the engineering teacher was my biggest influence, and he's become my mentor, and, you know, he's definitely guided me to the point where I can't imagine doing anything but science. I'm, I'm captain of the robotics team this year at my school, and I never thought I'd actually get there because when I first joined the robotics team, I was the only girl. And I was completely worried that, you know, my points wouldn't get across and people would just overlook, you know, what I was trying to say. But that wasn't the case at all. They actually liked that I was a girl trying to do engineering. And that's what I, you know, I want everyone to know that it's completely okay to pursue it. Kiana, congratulations. And we agree. Yes, it's okay. From Pittsburgh to the nation's capital, we caught up with one of our STEM stars at the USA Science and Engineering Festival. Hi, my name is Taylor Valencia. I am a graduating senior civil engineering major at Howard University, although I'm repping Morgan today. And I'm here because I love to do engineering outreach activities for kids. I just love seeing the excitement on their faces and it makes it all worth it. It's really important for minorities to get into science, engineering, math fields because of just the impact that they can have on society. Um, I have seen an increase just as a student at Howard. However, I'm always promoting it even further because I have been in places where I am the only. And um, we definitely have a place within STEM. You can always do outreach activities for kids with STEM, always. You can even start your own program. This is one of those examples where things just start and they get on a roll, that kind of thing. I love being at an HBCU where the people look like me. I can definitely relate to them. They can relate to me. And we just have a great support network. And it's been fabulous. I chose HU. Well, it really chose me. They decided to cover my tuition. And I said, that's where I'm going. And uh, it's been great. The best decision I've made. <laughs> That's The Color of STEM for today. We hope we have inspired you to consider a STEM career or inspired you to nudge someone you know into a STEM career. Keep watching The Color of STEM, where we show you that STEM makes a difference, and so can you. See you next time, and think about STEM. I'm Allison Seymour.